My next guest is a Hollywood screenwriting legend, a genius behind some of the most memorable scenes in movie history. David Mamet is daring now to call out Hollywood's diversity obsession with his new book, Everywhere an Oink Oink, an embittered, dyspeptic and accurate report of 40 years in Hollywood. And he joins me now. David, great to have you on the show. Um, I'm so happy you did this book uh, because it needs to be said loudly. Hollywood has lost the plot in recent years at the altar of trying to tick endless boxes for diversity, for virtue signaling, whatever it may be. And it's made a lot of movies simply unwatchable. And it's also made award ceremonies unwatchable as all the actors get forced into making these homilies and lectures and statements when all I want them to do is embrace movies. Yeah, well, the thing about Hollywood is it's dead. And I've been around a long time, and, and I, uh, technology changes a culture, as we see, that uh, vaudeville was driven out of business by the movies, and uh, the movies uh, took it in the tank when television came along. And every time the technology changes, there's a whole new paradigm. Who are we, uh, to whom are we appealing? Who's in charge of that? How do we keep track of it? And so forth. And so now the new paradigm is to go to downloading and streaming so that the, the incredible bureaucracy, the pointless bureaucracy of the studio system, which has been around for 100 years, is now dead. There's nobody there who says, Think of it this way. If somebody at Kodak said 30 years ago, geez, I'm young, you guys don't know this, this whole new thing called computers and digitalizing, we got to stop making film, they would have said to that person, you're out of your mind, you're fired, mm -hmm. right? If we stop making film, our share price goes in, in the toilet. So the same thing is now true in Hollywood. Nobody goes to the movies anymore uh, in the, the brick and mortar movie theaters, and most people are just sick to death of this garbage that's being stuffed down their throat by the people who say, buy a subscription or read a book. I mean, when we see the issue that no. Disney got into, for example, with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, where they decided they weren't going to have any dwarves because they wanted to tick every quota box going and stuff, the backlash to that was very interesting to watch for me. It sort of said to me that the main body of the public have just had enough of this to a degree. Well, there's, there's nobody making this. Everybody's making a corporate decision. So corporate. So the whole thing about AI is interesting to me because that is the apotheosis of what idiots have been saying for a hundred years. Why don't we just get people in a room and see what the audience bought last year and make it again this year? Wouldn't that make sense? Well, it doesn't make sense because you can't predict what the audience is going to like. Right? Because even the people who come out and say, this is what I liked, they do that because they've been asked the question. They've been turned into a critic. So even though they might say, yes, I liked this, it doesn't mean they're going to like it again next year. So what, what's missing from Hollywood is individual invention, which can only come from the individual, and courage to take a chance and say, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do this story because it's fun, rather than I'm going to do this story because if I don't, I'm going to get fired. Who wants to watch that garbage? I get all these uh, Hollywood screeners in the, in the mail, and they're all a deeply felt understanding tale of a person caught between his personal idea. Who, who cares? Nobody cares. <laughs> what is the answer to this? I mean, is there an answer? Yeah, there's an answer. I just made a movie uh, uh, with uh, Shia LaBeouf and Evan John Akite, uh, Dom Hoffman and Chris Bauer, and th they... The people who made this movie also made some direct-to-downloading movies, among them The Peanut Butter Falcon and among them um, Honey Boy with Shia, and also that they just kept made this movie called Sound of Freedom, which was, I think, funded by some Christians who made a lot of money with uh, Jim Caviezel playing Christ. Now he plays a cop. It's a straight-up cop movie starring Jim Caviezel. They made it for $8 million. They made a quarter of a billion dollars because they went right to downloading to people who said, you know what, heck, I'll pay money for that. Mm -hmm. This is a great business if you think about it. If you make a movie for, say, $2 million and you download it and it makes $4 million, which you can do if you just threw it out the window, you just doubled your investment in yeah. three months. Yeah. This is a, so th that, that's what's happening now. What has been the reaction, David, to, to your book from Hollywood? 
The reaction to my book, I don't know about Hollywood, but the, the critical reaction has been uh, uh, overwhelmingly, this is hysterically funny, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's, that's good enough by me. As far as Hollywood goes, it's kind of, an, uh, um, it's kind of like world opinion, right? It's it, the mob. It doesn't quite really exist. And uh, so as far as Hollywood goes, that's my answer. What I did in the book, because I've been in this business for, for, for 40 years, in every aspect of it, sitting at the big table. So what I'm saying is this is, this is what actually went on, that most people who write uh, tell-all books are either um, settling a grudge or exculpating themselves or or hyping their brand, but I said, you know what? I've had so much fun in this business. Here's a bunch of funny uh, and uh, raunchy stories. I hope you like it. And the reaction's been uh, gratifying. Well, I've got to tell you, it is. I mean, I'm no surprise. I love all your work, but it is absolutely hilarious. And I'm so happy you've done this book. Everywhere I know, Inkoink, an embittered, dyspeptic, and accurate reporter, 40 years in Hollywood. Everyone should just go and read this. A for a great laugh, and B to see the veneer of this. Blown away. So, David Bamett, thank you very much indeed for joining me. You're so welcome.